South Australia is definitely leading the way in developing uh, a modern power system. It's developed a coherent plan and, and it's rapidly putting in place um, all the elements of this plan, including the virtual power plant. It's developing a 21st century power system ahead of anybody else. A virtual power plant takes a, a large number of solar panels on, on individual households, in this case public housing roofs, and integrates them for the benefit of those consumers to lower their costs. Where we're seeing these sorts of schemes are places like Canada and Europe, um, but they, they typically involve uh, large-scale renewables, biomass generators. We're really not seeing anything like this at this scale anywhere else in the world. So the South Australian virtual power plant is, is about um, 50 times larger than the scheme proposed by AGL last year, which was promoted as the world's largest scheme. It's about three times the size of the rest of all VPPs around the world. It is gigantic. At full scale, a VPP adds about 250 megawatts of capacity to the system. That immediately improves competition across the market. Um, it will result in savings of about $180 million per annum for all consumers whether they're participating or not simply because of these competitive gains. But what's unique about this is the way in which these different elements have been brought together under a coherent plan and executed extremely quickly to deal with the challenges in South Australia it really is uh, leading the way in terms of the way in which a kind of modern power system looks like. In fact, South Australia is developing the power system that we must have to meet the Paris Agreement. Mm -hmm.